So the over here on the toolbar, this is where we can see a bunch of our options that we can add. And the first one on the toolbar is show or hide the effects browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice on the bottom right hand corner, we now have some cool effects. One really neat thing about Final Cut Pro, though it is a graphics hog and a processor hog, if I hover over one of these effects, it will give me a preview of what that what your clip and your timeline will look like with that effect applied. It's not applied, it's just a preview of what you have hovering over here. So I can look at like, for instance, aged paper, and I can see what it's doing to my clip, and I can hover over any one of these and kind of see what it's doing to it. All right, so there's a 50s TV, you know, colored paper, you know, artifacts, background squares, you know, whatever. So let's let's pick one. Let's do let's do bad TV. Okay. So find bad TV in that list. And it's simple to apply it. You can either just double click it. If you have a clip selected in the timeline, if you double click it, it'll automatically apply that effect to the clip. Or you can just simply click and drag it and drop it on a clip. Okay. So you'll notice once you apply an effect, you'll see an orange horizontal bar on the top of your timeline. That is your render bar. Anything below that bar, Final Cut Pro will need to render in order to play back in full speed for your processor and your, and your computer, basically. Okay. Now, Final Cut will render for you. I know I said earlier it will render in the background. That's sort of a misnomer. That's actually not true. It will try to render for you, but only if you're not moving the mouse. So I move, I've been moving the mouse since I've been talking to you, so it doesn't render on me. <laughs> uh, but if you notice in the HUD, um, I have 36% rendered there. If I let go of the mouse after about two seconds, it will start to render for me. Really neat feature. Now, it will background render for you if you hide Final Cut and you go to, like, go to a website or start working in another program it will start rendering for you there. You can be moving the mouse all day long and it'll be rendering quote unquote in the background. But while Final Cut Pro is your focused application, it will not render while you're moving the mouse around or, or working, okay? So now that it's rendered, I can play my clip back and now it will play back in real time, right? It won't skip frames, it won't chug um, and whatnot. Okay, so let's add another one. Um, oh, well, before that, let's look in our inspector here. So we've added an effect. I'm in my video tab of my inspector. We can see bad TV is there. That means this effect is on that clip. All right, so let's add another one. What's, a, what's another effect down there you guys want to add? It's not all shout out at once. Decal? Where's the? Oh, right there. Um, let's try it. I'm not sure what that one does, but we will try it. So there it is. Oh, okay. That's that. That has a drop zone in it. We'll. Uh, we won't do that. I mean, we could. I mean, I could. I could grab a B-roll clip here and drop it in that drop zone. And I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Well, I selected luminance. It's using the the uh, the Anton Brown clips lightness and darkness of the clip to show the drop zoned clip through it. So again, uh, it's rendering this clip. You can see the progress bar going. Uh, as it's going, it's steadily trickling the trick, uh, ticking that bar away. And once it's at 100%, then I can play my clip. And there it is. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Um, so there is no limitation to how many effects you can put on a clip. Uh, you can put as many as your computer can handle. <laughs> I'll say that. That's what I was about to say. Uh, all you got to do is click on the effect name. For instance, I'm going to click on decal up here, and I'm going to hit the delete key. And that is the delete key that's next to the plus icon. All right. So that again, to show you again, I have the bad TV effect still applied. I'm going to click once on the, the name of the, um, of the effect and then hit the delete key. You must make sure you click on the name of the effect and hit the delete key. Otherwise, what's going to happen? Your clip's going to delete. Right? So what's the uh, command Z, right? <laughs> 